We say we're taking it flying. That's the prepare. And as you can see, the stuff to load is 517 pounds of cargo and six first class pa passengers. With that in mind, we need to do some flight planning. So bring up my bring up my flight planning screen. First thing I always do is I'm gonna check the meters at the airport we're going to. Wind is zero knots, so a calm day. Then check my route. And I've put all this stuff in beforehand just to keep the video as succinct as possible. Um, so that's the route we're gonna be flying. It's a whole 23 nautical miles. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I check the notems, notems, notice to airmen for each of the airports. Those are up here. So you, if you go to, if you use Sky Vector, you put it in the airport and then the top left is where your notems are. And you can see if there's any taxiways closed or anything else that you have to worry about. This is at RDU where we're starting from. So nothing there that is particularly concerning. Now we go to where we're landing, do the same thing. Uh, runway three for calm wind runway. That's important to know. So we will be landing runway three since wind was zero. Uh, let's see. And then to get there, it's pretty simple, right? It shows you we can use the RDU uh, VOR on the 230 radial for at 23 miles. Now, granted, we're going to use our GPS, but I always like having backup nav aids so that if the GPS takes a poop, uh, we can instantly just shift over and uh, go off of radios. Not a problem. And then at the... Uh, at the airport, at TTA, for runway three, I've got the ILS frequency, and the runway heading is 029 for runway three. We just need to go ahead and make sure we have enough fuel, so we'll use Sembri for that. We're going from RDU to KTTA. And it's, okay, let's do new flight. They might have all the information or something, because I didn't. Okay, and we don't need an alternate. We're going to use, where is it? Oh, yeah. All of that is fine. We don't need contingency fuel for a beautiful day and a short flight. We also don't need that much extra fuel. Uh, we have six passengers and how much cargo? 517. Uh, we're gonna go direct. There we go. Miss anything else? Okay, we're gonna let it generate the flight. And if you didn't know, Simbrief, Simbrief is free. You just need a Navigraph account. You, you don't need a subscription, but you have to have an account. So don't need to worry about that. Direct plan, super easy. Uh, now it's go flying time. We're going to start at RDU. They said 2-3 left. Mm, without Addis, we don't know. Because that's 2-3 right. If we're going to take off 2-3 left, we want to be up here. Otherwise, we're going to have to taxi and then Foxtrot 2 and 5 are up here, so be careful. But they're thinking it's going to be 2-3 right. Sometimes it knows. So why don't we just start up here and we might have to taxi down there, waste of fuel or whatever. So we'll set that as our departure. We won't set an arrival. We'll go flying. Then on the on-air stuff, we have 400 pounds more than we need. All Everything's loaded that we want. We don't need to verify anything, I guess. So we're going to do flying out minus 10, uh, 1500. That's going to be 5, uh, yeah, that's 5 a.m. No. Let's try, uh, that's 8 a.m. That'll be fine. Okay, so it's going to, there we go. All green check marks connected. I'm not going to start tracking yet. I just need to go. Uh, verify that the aircraft looks the way I expect. And before we start tracking, I want to check Addis to see what our active is going to be. 
for startup and get this out of the way. So we'll just use ground power. And, um, oh, it yells because fuel valves aren't open. That's fine. And add this. I just need the airport info. Thank you. You go away. 123.8. So it could be either runway. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have kilo. Kilo. Okay, information kilo. So we're done with all that mess. Put everything back in a pre-flight pre -flight mode. And then make sure that all our planning is done. That's done, that's done, that's done. I think... We're ready to say start tracking. All right, we have the green tracking light. Aircraft is good. We don't need. We need to set a couple things once we get through pre-flight. All right, all switches are off or normal. This can be closed. All switches are off. Lights are off. All right, time to set up the pedestal. The emergency lever is normal. Throttle off, RPMs high, fuel condition is cut off, flaps are up, trim is set to take off. Go to the roof. I hit the right button. Open up our fuel, and then we turn on our beacon, the thing I forget so many times. And then we can kick on our battery, fuel pump to boost, avionics, and we're ready to kick the pig consider the kick picked. Pig kicked. My three that I care about. Watching NG. At 12. At fuel. Which is... Now. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the Now engines. I'm watching ITT to make sure it does not end up near that red area. I keep my hand on the fuel condition lever, so if it does get that close to that, I'm yanking it. Or if the oil pressure doesn't come up. So now I'm waiting for a green oil pressure, and then 52. There we go. We can turn off the starter. And the boost pump. Turn on the generator. Check generator is on. It is. Battery is not discharging many volts. Now, turn on our standby alternator. And then we're going to trip the generator. Alternator came on. Generator's off. Battery's good. Volts are good. Now let's reset the generator. Alternator says it's off. Verified it's off. Generator's good. Battery's good. Voltage is. All right. Turn on our other avionics bus, our second avionics bus. We aren't in any other lights for outside, but inside. I find it easier to see with lights. All right. It's all set. We're not going to need the radar today. It is a gorgeous day. And let's see, check our flight plan, which is good. There's nothing there. Uh, I mean, we will just. You. That's our whole flight plan. There we go. Okay. Flight plan is verified. Go to the map. GPS mode. All right. We're not going to get a clearance, and this is VFR. We're heading. If we look at our route, we're heading southwest, so it's a westerly direction. So VFR, that's going to be even plus 500. So we'll set our altitude at 4,500. I think such a short flight.
1300 on the climb. Uh, we want a bug runway heading. I'm pretty sure we're going to be given. Well, I know it's going to be 23 at a set so. So let's bug 234, which is the runway heading. And then for backup navigation, I want to set com or nav two to 117.2, which is the RDU. So 117.2 is live. And then we need to switch the CDA, there, CDI on our second unit to uh, LOC. And then we want the 230 radial. Right there. Don't care what the needle's doing now, it's after takeoff, we'll monitor that. But that's our backup in case the GPS goes tits up. All right, uh, heading is set, altitude is set, backup navigation is set. That means the radios are good. Okay, now we will have our fake co-pilot handle the radios. Just because sometimes the handout, the, all the handovers kind of get annoying, and it provides no real benefit, so we'll let them handle that. And we're going to be departing south, actually. So let's go ahead and request that. Raleigh Ground Barley Zero One with Kilo Request Taxi to the active south departure. Barley zero one taxi two and hold short of runway two three right via ah, taxiway good. kilo bravo niner. So contact tower on one two seven decimal four five when ready. Two three right via kilo taxi two bravo and niner. Short runway two three right via taxiway kilo bravo niner yeah. barley zero one. So basically behind us and to the ah, that's what I was expecting. Good. All right, and now we need to check around us to see what's clear. Yeah, that's where we're going right there. He's in the way that way, and the fuel truck's in the way that way. Well, you know what? We're here. We can actually ask him for a pushback. So the guy with the cart can actually do something for once. Just so I don't have to pretend he's not there and run over him anyway. Raleigh Ground Barley Zero One requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the right. Barley Zero One, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Take your time, my friend. Don't mess up my nose gear. There we go. Away with you. For safety purposes, you must go away. There we go. We're off to a runway. This is Kilo, and that's Bravo Niner, so this is a super easy, quick taxi. Make sure 
sure nobody's coming. We're good. Still nobody coming. Nobody in my way. Alright, since I have failures turned on, I am going to do a run up. There's nobody behind me. All the engine instruments look good. Now I'll go blech. play with the regulator. How am I remembering the king here? I am, aren't I? Yeah, it doesn't have it. Oh, there it is. Nope, there's the governor test. Okay, so we need to be out far enough to see the difference. We need to be at 1,700 RPMs. This and... Okay, 1,800? I don't remember. I, would have to, I might have to pull a checklist. There it is. 100 RPM drop from 1,800. Okay, so the governor works. That's that whole run-up done, and the engines look great. They kind of smell good, too. Alright, so let's move on to the whole short line. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We don't have any traffic going. I was wondering, boy, this is... I mean, it is Sunday, but seriously. And... Begin. go. So that should make the radio a little busier. And more stuff wandering around. Okay, but still nobody coming. That's good. We're out of here. Uh, break is off. That stutter, that so annoying. They introduced it three, four weeks ago, and I haven't been able to figure out how to get rid of it. And there's the whole short line. All right, so let's go ahead and oh, two. Raleigh Tower, Marley 01 at runway 2 tree right ready for departure, departure to the south. Marley 01 altimeter 30 decimal 21 wind calm south departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 2 tree right. Alright, four actions we take when we cleared. Runway 2 tree right, Barley 01. Fuel condition goes to high idle, one notch of flaps. It's an on air requirement, or I guess you could say an airline procedure requirement. And the fuel pump needs to be turned on, and landing lights. Four things that must be done once clearance to take off is given. At least in this aircraft, and in on air. Okay, nobody on the runway. Except us. Alright, 40% power. Oil pressure and temps are good. ITT is good. We out of here. Scoot, goat. Okay. A little bit of a crosswind from the left, but not much. So just a tiny bit of stick. And shall we fly? We Airplane shall. Okay. And we're going to go flaps up. Heading. Yes. Autopilot has the plane. Barley zero one, continue for south departure. We will. Barley Tower, Barley zero one, continue for south departure. Oh, we'll go to nav mode on the 
GPS. Continue our climb to 4,500. Pressure and temps are good. ITT is good. Everything is in the green over here. Lots of voltages, many electrons. And we're all good. S vacuum system's good. Remote compass is slaved and correct. This is going to be a super short flight. We're squawking 1200 for VFR, as you would expect. And see, you're starting to see that 230 radial come in, right? Like it's right on 230. Sometimes parallax can kind of screw with you when you're trying to set things like that. Okay, so now we want to start looking for KTTA. Go. As soon as we're within 20 miles, we are. When it's no wind, we're supposed to use runway three, so. Kilo Tango Tango Alpha Traffic Barley 0118 miles northeast oh, 4,200 feet inbound to land runway tree. <coughs> I thought it was a controlled airport. I had a control tower frequency. Oh, but it's only 1300 to 11, uh, 2300. And since I did the UTC offset, it's it's not 1530. It's like 930 in the morning. Yeah, 925. Or 825, yeah. That's why. But that's okay. We'll do left traffic for runway 3. Yes, fuel low, I know. But not really. This is going to be a truly quick flight. I don't even know why I'm bothering with cruise settings here. I'm about to start a descent. But habit. 17.5 for RPMs. And about 1700. There we go. Engines look good. Trons look good. The only enunciators for low fuel. And we have roughly 400 pounds, like a little less. And uh, the flight, this flight is over in five minutes. Well, not really, because of the approach and landing and everything. But now we start our descent. Uh, field altitude is 247, so we're going to want 1300 for pattern altitude. So let's set 1300. And we'll do a VS of... Eh, oh, no. Hello. VS. Uh, negative 7. Pull back the throttles. RPMs to full.
nice slow descent to coast the way down. that is our airport right there and so for a left down one we're gonna want to well, we could set up before it so let's go current. So our current heading is 230 so let's plug that in heading mode and then turn to the right a little bit We'll set set up to enter the downwind straight up straight up. Told y'all this is gonna be a quick flight. I didn't have any time to do any uh, prep. I think maybe on the last leg I might have time. To do some planning I mean I need to hire uh, an AI pilot and then set up uh, a work order for him there was just no time on this flight to do any of that and the next flights the same it's about the same distance so it's gonna be the same Looks like we're going to reach pattern altitude at right the same amount, the same time as we get to the pattern. diagram for the other airport. This one, really. That's zero two nine. Start our turn to 209, the reciprocal of 029. Yeah, we could probably. With no wind, we don't have to plan our pattern with that in mind. at pattern altitude just as we would enter the downward leg. So we'll bring power back in a little bit. Keep it at about 115, 120. Somewhere right about there. Right. Props full RPM. Fuel condition is high. Landing lights are on. Don't have to check gears. Fixed gear aircraft. Everything is good. Engines look good. Trons look good. All right. Uh, probably came in on this pattern a little too close. Gonna have to extend out. And I'm actually gonna hand fly the rest of this. We 
need to definitely extend that out. Need to start a little bit of a descent. Not that kind of, not that much. The only thing about the setup that I have to use the trim wheel on the yeah, that's way too close. <laughs> Gonna be a freaking emergency turn. Have a little bit of descent going. Second. Why she does not want to settle. We're just about to start this turn. There we go. Now, now she gets the point. Start our turn. Copilot's doing a very bad job at making announcements. It doesn't know downwind base, apparently. Okay, come on. Down. Sort of thermal there, I guess. And now we need to put our bug 90 degrees to the right. Continue losing a little altitude. There we go. That's better. There we go. Now, there's the runway. We'll just next turn. Once we line up, last notch of flaps. There we go. That's going to be a good lineup. Last notch of flaps. Pull the power back. from the Vazzy lights, I am definitely high, but long enough runway. No reason to get worried. There we go. It'll be just fine. No wind. We'll have to float down the runway a little bit. Big deal. Landing time log. taxi light and it's in the middle of the freaking taxiway all right done with that and now it's clear of runway kilo tango tango alpha traffic barley zero one is clear of the runway now I could taxi all the way back to the parking area but on air doesn't care so as long as I'm off the active I'm okay happy so landing lights are off fuel down to uh, fuel condition down to low idle. RPM still at high. The only light we have on is beacon. We can turn off avionics bus 2. We can turn off our fuel boost. Standby alternator. We didn't use any boost heat. Verifying that only the beacon is left on. Turn off our lights. And the only thing left is for on air, I want to record the exact amount of fuel I had left. So that's over here 287 pounds. We started with 400, so <laughs> we used 113 pounds. All right, so now that I know that, go, nope, back into here and let's shut down. Engine off time log. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Yes, I am aware. Go away. Just load all. 
There we go. Oh, we have some for each one. I mean, everything. There we go. We have 13 pounds available for cargo. I'm not going to go searching for a 13 pound cargo. Uh, so now we have 2,049 and 6. So let's go to here. New flight. This is from KTTA to KFG. Make sure I got that airport right. KFBG, I did. Uh, we are still flying the Cessna. We still do not need an alternate. Do not need contingency fuel. And 30 minutes is fine. Freight was 2049. Yeah. And six passengers. Oh, six passengers. There we go. And we're going to go. DCT. Okay, yeah. I'm going direct again. This is going to be a VFR. This is strictly to get a fuel calculation. That's it. Just to make sure we have enough fuel. Okay, so that's all in. Everything looks good. The right aircraft. Right places, no alternates, generate. All righty. Uh, load sheet says three twenty two, so let's put in three twenty two. Means our payload's good. We've got all of our cargo loaded. We're going to go ahead and validate so that they can go start shoving things on the air and people on the airplane. And then for us, we want to go check KFBG if there's any NODEMs that we need to care about. Don't see anything that particularly concerns me. to the simulator, we need to depart from KTTA, and it says the wind is 070 at 2 knots, so yeah, we are definitely taking off from runway 3, we'll do it from ramp 8 parking, we'll fly. Day. And we haven't even started tracking yet, but we will. And if you guys are wondering what I'm using, if you're not following along with the on-air uh, episodes, heavy metal episodes, I'm using on-air to give me my flight. So if you're just watching through the flight playlist and now you understand why I'm looking at this and all these other things that are going on. It's a it's a really good career add-on app that I'm doing a whole series on. Alright, KRDU, KTTA, no, that's the old one. We don't have our new flight will be A to KFBG. There we go. So that gets all of those up. It's our, basically all I care about is these two things. This is the one we're starting at. There we go. 029, good. That's all good information. All right. Mm, what else am I missing before we start the pre-flight? I think I have everything. Okay, let's get this out of the way. All right, uh, all switches are off or norm. All switches are off. Lights are off. Set up the pedestal. Emergency lever to normal. Throttles to idle. RPM max. Fuel condition to cut off. Flaps are up. Trim is takeoff. Aileron is, and rudders are both neutral. Okay, fuel selectors are on. Beacon, 
one, two, three. There we go. And now we can turn on the battery. Fuel pump. Avionics bus one. Check battery voltages. Looks good. Let's kick this pig. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. ATT is good. Waiting for oil pressure to go green. There it's green. Now we're waiting for 52 on the turbine RPM. Turn the starter off and the fuel boost off. Start the generator. Verified lots of voltages. The generator is operating. Turn on the backup alternator, trip the generator, alternator does come on, battery is not discharging, volts are good, reset the generator, alternator says off, verified off, gen is on, battery not discharging, volts are good. Happy. Second avi uh, avi uh, avionics bus is on, we are done with that part of it, alright. Fuel is not that low. We're taking a very short flight, and I'm promising not to take a, a really long time with this pre-flight. All right, so flight plan should be fairly simple. We're going from K T T A to K F B G. Okay, you happy? I'm happy. Now. Yes, and then we said for backup nav we were going to use 114.85. No. And we go to localizer, and then we want the 101 radial. like a hundred one okay so primary and secondary nav setup don't need the radar now we just need to set up our runway heading which is zero two nine right or no did I, zero eight zero eight six totally wrong that's why I write things down imperfect memory so we basically got our bug on zero eight six and now we need to set, uh, we said we were going to climb to 3500 because it's a short flight and we're going east, VFR, and we'll be climbing at 1300. Feet per minute. All right, uh, last check of everything. Engines, oil pressures and temps are good. ITT is good. Everything's in the green. Trons look good. Remote compass is slaved and true. Vacuum system looks amazing. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Both fuel selectors are on. We are out of here. All right. That's a uh, un uncontrolled airport. So let's go ahead and do that. Kilo Tango Tango Alpha Traffic Barley 01 is taxiing to runway tree. And then we'll be, we'll call it the south. It's really southeast, but we really don't need that one anymore. But it can, it can live there. Now we're not going to get any ground services, so he's just in the way. And we're going over there. A little bit of a right-ish crosswind, but it's so light, I'm probably not going to do anything about it. All right, parking brake is off. Dude, you're lucky this is a high-wing aircraft. Or I'd smack you with my wing for just standing there like an idiot. Ain't nobody coming down the taxiway. Nobody on final.
We're the only person at this airport that I can see, other than the guy standing there with a mini tug. <laughs> so we'll go here. Let her make an announcement. Parking brake on. We're gonna go to 1800 RPMs. Okay, test the governor. Test is successful. Back to idle. We've already announced that we're taking off. Again, check. Nobody on final. Nobody on the runway. Okay, parking brake is off. Fuel condition to high. Landing lights are on. One notch of flaps. And fuel pump is on. We are ready for takeoff. Very light wind from the right. I don't know if I'm even going to put any stick in for that. But, all right. 40% power. Oil pressure and temp looks good. ITT looks good. We're out of here. Give her all she's got, Scuddy. That's about it right there. And... Rotate. Flaps up. And heading VS. All right. What heading are you going on? No, no, no. no. Actually, that's fine. So we're going to turn get to our nav course Raleigh approach Barley 01 is type Cessna caravan 1 miles northeast of Kilo Tango Tango Alpha 500 feet request flight following Barley 01 Raleigh approach Squawk 3741 Okay Autopilot is now on nav mode. Check our Barley zero one radar contact one mile east of Kilo Tango Tango Alpha one thousand three hundred feet. Landing lights altimeter three zero decimal two zero. Flaps are flaps up. All green. All good. So now we're just going to thirty five hundred feet. Set the altimeter for what we just a three zero point two zero. And we're gonna be getting there pretty quick. We're still we're further than twenty nautical miles, so I'm not gonna bother with contacting them yet. And localizer is coming in. So if we do lose the GPS we have another way to find the airport. Kind of coming in anyway. Right. Should be right about there. We'll set cruise, but I don't think it's going to... We're not going to be cruising for very long. So, pull power back to about 1,700. Nope, that's further than I need. 1,700. Right there. Right there. You can do it. 
And RPM's back to 17.5. And we are in cruise configuration for about five minutes. I don't want to rush picking my AI pilot. It's one thing about all these short flights is you get lots of takeoffs and landings. So to hire, I think I have enough time. To hire an AI, you go to the world, world, hire employees, brings this screen up, and we need pilots, and we only care about single engine turboprop land and multi-engine turboprop land. So we'll say, hey, you have to have at least that. And then let's find somebody who has good punctuality, right? And then find somebody who's punctual and stress resistant. This looks the best right here. The difference in pay is irrelevant. The amount of money these people make for the company flying aircraft is so significant that the difference between $400 or $500 a week is irrelevant to get a better pilot who's on time and doesn't freak out if there's clouds over the runway. So we're going to look at uh, Miss Wozniak here. multi-engine turboprop land and that's she's got everything we need heck even if we decide to do a some sort of a sea operation she can handle it so that's going to be her home we're going to go ahead and hire her there's our ai pilot now we're going to go back to here and we are under 20 miles that's all we're going to get done there so let's go to the tracking page and let's contact KFBG. There it is. Simmons Tower, Barley 0116 miles north, 3,500 feet to land. Barley 01 Simmons Tower. Altimeter 30 decimal 20 wind 259 or at 4. 259 or 4. Left traffic. So we're going to come across here for our left pattern. 4,000 feet, 273, so 1,300 feet is pattern altitude. All right. We're going to have to go in front of the airport, so to speak, or we can just cross over the center of it. So we'll probably just cross over the center at pattern altitude. So we better start, we'll start this a slow descent right now. So let's go set our altitude to pattern altitude. We'll be doing, let's do minus 700 for now. And pull the power back. Go ahead and put landing lights on now. We're not on final, but I like to be seen. Okay. 
and our runway heading is what? Two seven three. I'll bug the runway heading. I guess in this giant spot here, then. That's the tower. That is our airport. Okay. And we are... Well, we will be at Pattern Altitude by the time we get there. Good. Runway heading is bugged. Carrying on a little more speed than I'd like. I mean, I can drop the first knot flaps at this speed, no problem. But in fact, it's 175, I think, yeah. So basically, I'm going to cross the, the, the runway at midfield, cross the airport at midfield, and then turn left downwind. Probably put the first notch of flaps down just before we get to the airport. Watch speed, because we really want to be down to about 120. All right, lights are on. Fuel condition is high, prop to full RPM. No need to check gear. And let's go, first notch of flaps. Let it settle in. Prepare to take over from the autopilot. We can even verify our runway. Just look straight down. There we go. 27. Right there on the end of it. So we'll get out about a quarter mile or so from the runway and then we'll make our left turn. turn here for left down wind second notch of flaps okay we are descending Take 
taking off for here. Sort of thermal, I guess. I like our position in the pattern. Like to be descending. Okay, it is time to turn. We already have two notches of flaps in. If we didn't, I'd be putting them in here. out just long enough to see where the runway is and continue the turn. Jesus. She just wants to fly today. We'll check our line up here shortly. We are going to be high. But heaven, yeah. And overshot. Snatch of flaps. Oh, Lord, big. Queen zero nine zero at four knots. Flaps are confirmed all the way down. Speed is a little high. And so are we. But that's going to get fixed right about here. There we go. Speed's coming down. There's 70. Just in time. A little bit of a left cross wind. Nothing serious. Just flare. Landing time nice. Off. Nice. Reverse. Bali zero one exit runway when able. Oh, yes, ma'am. Flaps up. Landing lights off. Yes, ma'am, I normally would, but we're going to go one, ahead and park two, here. One, oh, what the? No. For zero Parking one. break. Not escape key. All right. Uh, all lights are off except for the beacon. Shut. Avionics 2 is shut down. Fuel pump is off. Alternator is off. Standby alternator. Uh, we didn't use any lights. Good. Nothing else. We didn't use heat. I think we're okay. So, all I want to know is what was my fuel usage for this flight. Uh, that won't tell me. No, I just clicked on the same thing. Yeah, there we go. We had 208 pounds left. All right. So now we can shut down. Engine off. Time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by... Yay, Hollywood. level three. We just finished a level mission. Of course, we made some money on this flight, too. And finishing the level mission was our big goal. I don't know what that notification is supposed to be about. But anyway, uh, let's see. If we go battery first, then Microsoft won't kick it. Oh, yes, it still will. I'm turning things off. Notification is, but it can go away. You can, you can go away. Uh, 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 uh. Everything is off that's supposed to be off. We can now turn the beacon off. There we go. Aircraft is secure. K 
Okay, now we do sim brief. We already know the weather's fine. Uh, we know what, since we came from RDU, we already know that they're using 2 3 right and left. We are going definitely VFR. We've seen the weather. None. Cessna 308. 208. Whatever it is. Uh, we do not need contingency fuel. 30 minutes reserves is fine. Passengers is 6. And I don't remember how much cargo. It was 892 pounds. Um, hello. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation. We are going direct. You are correct, sir. It's learning. All right, I think we can generate the flight with that. And what I'm really concerned with, this is that these aren't complicated flights and I'm, there's no reason to go IFR, is I want my block fuel, 351. Yes, thank you. There we go. Because range with 30 minutes reserves is 78 nautical miles and we've got to go 45, so we've got a nice little buffer. So with that in mind, I think that's everything we care about. We can validate fuel and payload. We can go into the simulator, send our aircraft to KFBG. And since we're doing VFR, we didn't, we're not putting in an arrival. And then since the, the wind is coming from basically like this, we won't be taking off on 27, we'll be taking off on 09. Yeah, why would you take off with the wind? I think I think you are wrong if you look at the wind. You you, you are wrong. We want this one. If not, this can be a really long taxi. Okay. Okay. Aircraft is in the right place. Set up our charts. We can unload that one. Really unload. Okay, new flight. I'm gonna go from KFBG. Oh, G. KRDU. That's all we need there. That gets us our two airport diagrams. Let's just load this one up for now. Tune that in once we have uh, power to the aircraft so that we can figure out if we're really going to be taking off down 09. Okay. Charts are set. Uh, this is all fly 10 hours. 1626 would put me at 626. No, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, that would put me at 826. Let's Fly like more like middle of the day now. All right, fuel is good. All right, we've got all green check marks. We're good there, so let's start trekking. Got our green dot. To the simulator. All right, so where are we on the airport? We're here, which of course has. We have to go over to Juliet, and then taxi down the runway. Because there's no taxiway to get to there. So yeah, Juliet, and then turn around. Okay. Works for me. I think we're set. All right, now for this one, it's already you, so already uh, my backup nav. That's what I didn't grab, but it's just the RDU. you. Uh, so if I close this, no, I don't want to break you out. I just need to see more. 
the box for a little box with the radios on it. The VOR. What are you? 117.2. Okay, that's all I needed from you. Go back to that. 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 117.2. And that's just for our backup navigation. All right, so that is all done. So now let's just get ready to take off. Hey, sorry about the dog. All, right. all lights are off. All switches are off or normal. All switches are off. Lights are off. Emergency lever is to normal. Throttle is idle. RPMs to high. Fuel condition lever is to cut off. Flaps are up. Trim is set for takeoff. Fuel selectors are open. Beacon is on. Battery is on. Fuel boost on. Avionics one is on. Kick picking time. Pig kicking time, not pig picking. I don't even know what that would be. And your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. ITT is good. Oil pressure is good. And fifty two. We've got volts. Battery's not discharging. Alternator trip. Alternator's on. Alternator shows on. Battery's not discharging. We have volts. Res no, reset. Thank you. We have battery's not discharging. Generator's on. We have voltages. We are good. Okay. Everything on that panel is done. Uh, good bright day, don't need any lights. Everything there is done. All right, time for the radio. Uh, altimeter set. Flight plan. Okay. FBG, I think it was. FBG? No. Where are we? <laughs> it's that KFBG. I thought that's what I put in. KFBG. That's the right airport. Destination. K R D U. That is the right airport. Back up nav. Said it was one seventeen point two. So that'll be there once I change that to look. Okay, and the DME can go off of nav two. Okay, that's all good. I don't know which runway they're gonna give me. I'm. They gave me two three left before, so that's probably what they're gonna give me. Need to extend my down ones a little further, I think, so that I don't end up so high. Or descend better on the down one. All right, VFR uh, set VFR on the transponder. Altitude mode is on. Engines are all green. Trons are all green. I don't see anything that's missing. Right. Simmons Brown, Barley Zero One, request taxi for North departure. Barley Zero One, taxi two, and hold short of runway niner using taxiway. Contact tower huh. on one two five decimal niner when ready. I guess we can just pick whatever taxi we want. Well, really, there's only one taxi way to get there. And hold short runway niner using taxiway Barley Zero One. Yeah. 
So, as expected, we'll just use Joliet. Parking brake is off. Let's get us out of here. Get that out of my face. Taxiways. Let me just keep going until we get to the runway. Looks like the wind is coming straight at us, so no, no crosswind thinking. So this is the whole short line for. Niner two seven. So we will do such things as that. Simmons Tower, parking brake. Zero one at runway Niner. Eighteen hundred. Ready for departure. Departure to the north. Barley zero one altimeter three zero decimal one eight wind one zero Niner at four. Departure to the north approved. Cleared for takeoff runway Niner. Cleared for takeoff runway Niner. Barley zero one. All right, Governor test successful. We've been cleared for takeoff. Lights on, fuel condition to high. Notch of flaps and fuel pump to normal. There's our four actions. We're out of here. Well, not without turning off the parking brake. Now we're out of here, ow. Nobody on the runway, nobody on final. I mean, we don't really need all this runway, but you know what they say, the most valuable real estate on Earth is the runway you left behind you. So I will take everything that I am given, just in case. are on flaps verified fuel condition high idle power 40 percent oil pressure and temps good itt good we're out of here Flaps up. Altitude. We're heading westerly, so we'll do 4,500. Simmons Tower, Barley 01, continue for north departure. And our. We'll do. Nav. Yes. All right. So the autopilot has the plane. It's going to our GPS course and to an altitude of 4,500. May have to change that. Uh, I'm trying to think. We're heading northwest, so that's fine. We'll verify that. Heading exactly north. And it's going to end up being northeast. No, let's see, we're northwest right now, but I think we're going to be going exactly north. Does that make it fielder's choice?
No, we're, we're going to be going northeast. Okay, so we'll change that to 5,500. Simmons Tower, Barley, zero one frequency change. Okay. Simmons approach Barley, zero one is type Cessna Caravan, three miles north of Simmons, 2,700 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Barley, zero one, Simmons approach. Squawk 4404. Squawk 4404, Barley 01. Barley 01, radar contact, 4 miles north of Simmons, 3,300 feet. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through the Charlie airspace, Barley 01. Out of the Charlie airspace, we're above 4200. Request flight following. Barley 01, Fayetteville approach. Squawk 0355. Squawk 0355, Barley 01. Barley 01, radar contact, 5 miles west of 4 November Charlie Tree, 4600 feet. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 18. Roger, Barley, zero one. All right, once we get to 5,500, get the crew set, and then I'm going to start planning out the AI's 14-hour duty cycle. That's for on-air, if you're interested. For anybody just watching the flight, you won't care about that. Two cruise seventeen hundred, and the map is in my way. Like, where's my torque setting? There we go. Seventeen hundred, pull back to seventeen fifty. Cruise is set. There is nothing else to do here. Zero two zero is where RDU is. In case if we lose the GPS, we got that. And we are flying roughly that or zero one zero. All right. Anyway, let's go do the on-air stuff while we're in, while we're in cruise with little else to do for a while until we get to 20 miles from RDU. We don't really need to do much else. We approach Barley zero one five thousand five hundred feet. Barley zero one Raleigh approach altimeter three zero decimal one nine or continue. Stop bugging the runway heading. Now we need to let them know that we want to. We are inside 20 miles, yes. Select. Why would I get, I must have hit the wrong, I should not have been able to select it. There we go. Raleigh Tower Barley Zero One is one four miles south, 5,500 feet. Huge surprise. Okay, so we said pattern ounce two. We're gonna left traffic take runway, 15, left one. 1500. So we'll set. I'll apply it to 1500. Let's drop it about a thousand feet per minute. So power back. We're on approach. And lights are on. on Prop RPM is full. Fuel condition is high. Start our descent.
this will enter on a downwind, so we won't have to cross the airport. Coming in at a nice 45 degree angle, so that's cool. Almost like it was ordered up for us. Pilot. I'm going to start our turn to downwind for 2 3 left. So my bug is set for the runway heading, so all I got to do is put it behind me. Just consider and just continue the descent. Pattern altitude. There's the runway. Landing lights are on. First notch of flaps. quarters of a knot. <laughs> Did you guys see an aircraft on final? Okay, so we'll kind of level out then. Looking for an aircraft on final. Anyone? Bueller? Don't see it. Don't know what aircraft I'm following. Follow the... Oh, there it is. Okay, so we can turn base now. Caution, wake turbulence should have been part of that in Jetliner. That's okay. We're slow, so we won't get there ahead of him or really close behind him. I'm just putting the bug at a 90. Level out. Make our last turn. The theme for today is high approaches.
Well, he scooted right off the runway, didn't he? There we go. Speed is good. high according to the pappy lights, but I'm comfortable here. As with the rest of my on-air shares, I'm not going to take it all the way to the uh, parking. I'm just going to go ahead and stop here and shut down. That's all that's necessary. Uh, wait, I'll, I do need to capture how much fuel I had left. Okay, one of them was on tracking. There we go. 206 is what we had left. Alright, now we can shut down. Avionics 2. Mm, beacon is the only thing on. Didn't use heat. We're ready. We're going to shut her down. Engine off time log. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Wow. Oh. Uh, batteries off. Both avionics are off. Shut down. Secured. Happy. Out of here. I want to thank you for watching and flying with Barley. If you want to see the on-air portions, that's over in the on-air heavy metal playthroughs. Uh, other than that, if you like what I'm doing here, please remember to like and subscribe so that I can grow the channel and do more of this. With that, Barley out.